Hello everyone, it's Connie here from MenuDocs and welcome back to a new video on the channel. In today's video, we're going to be looking at finally a help command. To start us off, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly require a message embed from the discord.js package here. So we're going to do message embed equals the requirement of discord.js and then we're going to quickly do do a so. So that's obviously the embed required here. And we're going to start this one off with actually making the embed. So we're going to do const embed equals new message dot embed. Alongside this, what we're going to do is we're going to do set color and we're going to set the color just simply to blue. And then we're going to set the author of the embed here. So what we're going to do is obviously set author and we're going to do message dot guild dot name. We're going to do help menu and then we're going to have the message dot guild dot icon url and then we're going to have this set to dynamic so if they have a, a gif as their uh, discord icon then it will work next in line what do we have we have obviously the set thumbnail which is something that's very important here we can do this dot client dot user dot display avatar url and we're not going to add dynamic as a parameter here purely because uh basically bots can't have animated icons at this time of recording we're going to set the footer here and this is just simply going to be the person that requested the embed so requested by we can do uh, message dot uh author dot username on the other side here, we're going to do message.author.display avatar URL, and then we can set this to dynamic as well. So what we'll do is we'll do dynamic and then true. Next is obviously adding our favorite, the set time, the timestamp. So what's next in line? We're going to do if, and then we'll do command. So if a command is provided, and we're obviously going to quickly just pop up here, we're going to grab the args parameter that we pass so we pass the args in to our commands and we're just going to assign args or the the first the first provided parameter here as command and then we're going to obviously go into this if statement if there is a command and we're going to do const command equals this dot client dot commands dot get and then we're going to provide command or what we're going to do is this dot client dot commands dot get we're going to do this dot aliases dot get and then quickly add command in there. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go if there is no command provided, we're just going to simply return a message and we're going to say return message dot channel dot send in valid command named. And then we're just going to provide said command here. So we should probably change these to tactics. And we're just going to say command and then we'll do a so. So what is next in line? What we're going to do is we're going to go down two lines. We're going to do embed and we're going to set the author. And now this is where we need to actually quickly pop over into our wonderful utils because we're going to add two functions here. So what is the first function? So we're going to go just we'll do it under this one here. We're going to do remove duplicates and then we're going to have str standing for string and we're going to do return and we do an array dot 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 new set passing in sorry hold up let's just do r i think yeah that's more accurate 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 that's more like it then we're going to do capitalize with our english spelling of capitalize we're going to do string and then we'll do inside here we're just going to return we're going to do string dot split we're going to split it with a space and then we're going to map we're going to map and we're going to say str. We're going to pass that as our parameter. Do str.slice. We're going to do 0, comma, 1. And then what we're going to do is do 2 upper case. We're going to do, uh, we should just do plus. And then we do str.slice. And do 1. And then on the other side of this, on the other side of this one, we're going to do join. We're going to join it with a space. I see that I have done a little bit of an oopsie there. So I forgot to close the split. So you'll see here that now that we've done that, it looks schmick. And then we can head on back over into the help command here. Now on this help command, we're going to do this. So this dot client dot utils. And this is where we can call that capitalize function capitalize 
and we can pass the CMD name and then we can pretty much go on the other side of this and say command help. So basically if we provide a command it's going to then provide a different embed than showing all of the commands and this is going to pretty much display an in-depth uh, kind of like uh, talk about the said command. So we're going to do embed.description and now we can provi provide an array in here yet again and I think what we're going to do is quickly just grab we'll just grab this command here just the the easiest way to go we're going to do one two three four and then we can do uh, aliases uh, we could probably do something like description of the said command do something like um, category for instance do something along the lines of obviously usage usage is a good one get rid of that trailing comma real quick now how are we going to obviously manipulate these aliases we're going to do command dot aliases dot length so this is going to ask if there is a length of said aliases if there's not it's going to return no aliases after this but what we're going to do is we're going to do cmd dot aliases dot map we're going to map said aliases with the parameter of alias and then we're actually going to use the ability to uh, embed said aliases we're going to embed them so they look a little bit nicer when we provide them um and then we're going to pretty much just oh no, i need to go over one more and we're going to join them with just simply a space and then because this is a ternary operator we're just going to add no aliases at the end as the fullback uh for description it should just be as simple as doing uh cmd dot description just as simple as that and then we can do for category just cmd dot category and then it should just be the same pretty much for the bottom one as well uh because we're going to change how the usage works right so if we head on into our base command uh, .js here in the structures folder what we can do is actually also the aliases thing so we'll get rid of this entirely and we're just going to do this.client.prefix this will provide said prefix we're going to do this.name which will provide the name of the uh, command and then we're going to do options here options.usage and then if there is no usage what we're just going to do is just simply add an empty string which will then look kind of nice and then at the end of this we could probably do something just like trim so that's just changed to what we need it so we'll just close that super duper quick and then we'll just do return message dot channel dot send and we'll just simply send the embed right what if we want to display the entirety of the commands we would want potentially an else so we can do if else and then inside this elf elf or else more like we can do embed dot set description yet again pulling upon that embed to alter it and then we're going to obviously just quickly provide our an array in here and do these are the available uh commands for and then we can just simply do message dot guild dot name and then on the other end of this we can do uh we can obviously provide the embed not the embed sorry we can obviously provide the bots prefix so this bots this bots prefix is and then we'll provide the prefix so it will be this dot client dot prefix and this is kind of the bonus of having the prefix assigned to client because then you can just call it anywhere it well pretty much anywhere in the uh the bot code so i've added i've i've added the else here in the wrong spot so you need to go up and then quickly add the else into here and we'll just fix these issues real quick so they're not as ugly next what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh kind of set the the way that the command usage is going to be laid out right so we're going to do uh we're just going to do command uh parameters so we're going to say for instance that if you were to provide uh these or like the the arrow kind of things this would be a strict so it is necessary for the command to work and then what we're going to say is we could do for instance uh we can do brackets here and we'll say is optional so that is optional parameter so for instance with user info you don't have to provide a user you can provide a user 
um, but it's not necessary for the command to 100% work. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the next line. We'll do let categories, and then we're going to reassign this depending on conditions. So we're going to do, if I can get this correct, do this dot client dot owners and this is where we actually uh, i'll actually quickly do this so we'll do includes and we'll do message dot author dot id but what we're going to do is we're actually going to quickly head on over into our config.json and don't steal this token it's going to be replaced and we're actually going to add owners in here right we'll do owners and then we'll do uh we'll quickly grab my tag if you don't know how to grab a tag yes if you don't know how to grab a, an id then you'll have to google it it's it's pretty much as simple as like going into your user settings and turning on developer mode um but we're gonna add the owners into our config right and then we'll go over back into our menu docs client and then we can do something as simple as do this dot owners equals options dot owners right because we provide we provide the entire like json because json javascript object notation we provide the entire object as a parameter we can pretty much you know provide the owners in here and because it's an array you can have more than one owner but because we're doing this what we're doing is we're allowing you to have owner commands that will show up for you but not for other users so we'll do categories in here and then categories equals this dot client dot utils and this is where the remove duplicates comes in and then we're going to do this dot client dot commands dot filter and this is where we're going to filter said commands so uh category and then obviously if this category is in the owners category we're going to then map it and we're gonna do cmd and then cmd dot category adding just quickly one last bad boy here now because we've got an if statement we can add an else on here and then we're gonna do else and this is basically if you're not an owner sorry this is pretty much if you are the owner you can do this dot client dot utils dot remove duplicates and then you do this dot client dot commands and then it's just as simple as just mapping it you don't have to filter right so we we'll do map and we're going to do cmd and then obviously cmd dot category and now adding your semi colon at the end there and this is like we're pretty much at the end of the command here now so if we go down two lines we can do a for loop and this is going to be a for of so const category of categories and then we're simply just going to do the embed dot add field and this is where we're going to add um the names of our categories we can do this dot client dot utils dot capitalize that's where we can use our capitalize and capitalize the category and then go out here and add that syntax highlighting as not syntax highlighting sorry just the markdown highlighting and then we'll go and add that second parameter and that is going to be the value of the field this dot client dot commands dot filter and now this is where we can do cmd uh, dot category equals category and then we can map all these we'll do map cmd and we'll do cmd or actually sorry we can use um markdown yet again to highlight these names so we embed them don't know yep and then like so and then on the other side of this we can simply just join these and we'll just join them with a space like so so that is the entire help command done let's just quickly fix up all these errors here and what is this and sorry hold up we should do message.channel.send and then send the embed right and we'll do return and then that should fix up all the issues here so now that we've got the help command done what we can actually go and do is i'm actually just going to separate these real quick so we're going to ch change this to information so we do bot info and information server info and information and user info and information what we can do is actually reference this uh command.js and you'll see that we have six options here right uh just ignore the client and the name uh really because I mean, these can be altered, but you're just going to use uh, the, the name of the command. Anyways, what we're going to look at is the aliases description and category and usage down here, right? So we can use all of these. For instance, we could go in here and we can use said aliases or we could use said 
description and we can give it a description or we can then use said category and we can obviously set this category to information and then furthermore if you if it's required you can have usage so for instance in this we can do this commit uh, or we can just do displays information about the bot something as simple as that right and then we can obviously just quickly copy and paste this we we'll go up to the top here copy and paste up to the top here copy and paste and we do displays information about a provided provided user or the message author and then at a full stop we go over into here and then displays information about the server that said message was run in and then we can go down to help and then we'll add obviously a category in here so uh, i don't really think it needs a description actually do you know what just for the fun of it we'll add a description as well uh displays all the commands in the bot and then go here and we'll do category category is obviously going to be utilities and then we're going to need a usage because this is where we're going to use our parameters right so we quickly indulge our linter and now the usage is you can optionally provide a command and then if we go to here as well we can provide a usage and said usage will be you can optionally provide a user we go here we go to the ping we'll add a cat add a description as well as a category so we say uh this provides the ping of the bot you go to here and do category because you don't need to provide any parameters so you're not going to need a usage do utilities uh, we'll save that we go on to uptime and uptime doesn't actually have a constructor so we'll quickly add that because there is uses like uh, like adding aliases so we need ut for uptime um you can add this provides the current uptime of the bot and then it's in utilities as well don't think we're actually going to need this hello command ever again um but just just for references we'll, we'll show it as well because it will show you that it will just add it to a general category if there is um if there is no like way for it to go into a different category so what we're going to do is we're going to start with the bot i'll head over into discord and i'll show you that it works so i did a big goof um go into the help command it's not duplicates it's like duplicates because you know english language drop the e so we're going to quickly just run that yet again and i'm going to do help i'm going to display the help command and then for instance we could do like help uh we'll do Oh, ping for instance and it will show the ping command with the usage the aliases and then uh do we have multiple aliases on a certain command okay so we can do bot info right do help bot info and bot info has multiple aliases it will show those multiple aliases anyways i hope you have enjoyed this video this has been connie from menu docs if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit that subscribe button hit that like button also comment down below if you have any issues join our discord which is linked in the description or it's menudocs.link slash discord uh we bought a domain purely for like shortcuts like that um but anyways this has been connie from menudocs and i hope you have enjoyed i'll catch you guys in the next tutorial